Hey, how's it going, Leo? Uh, thanks for joining me. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. I am just getting ready to do you guys your monthly general reading for February 2019. And I'm going to use the Starman Tarot deck. If you're a David Bowie fan, you'll recognize him in these cards. He was basically the inspiration for this deck and he collaborated uh, with the creators of the deck to make this tarot card set. Wow. Okay, hold on. Okay. So I had a bunch of cards come out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wanted to pull seven, so I'll keep those and I'm just going to um, shuffle one more time and then put the deck down. So guys, it's a general reading, right? Um, may or may not resonate with you 100%. If it does, that's great. If not, just keep what works for you and remember that the rest will probably um, connect with somebody else watching the channel. I pretty much think I'm covered in dog hair, but sorry about that. Okay, so we'll start with the cards here, you guys. This is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is represents when you might have had enough of somebody or everybody's opinion and you are turned around and, and just about ready to not really tell everybody off, but just you've had enough, right? And you're you're just gonna say, okay, you know, whose life is it anyway right now? Um this is interesting. So the next card I have for you guys is the lovers, which is self-explanatory. This is an indication of connecting with somebody that is your divine match, like your karmic partner, your soulmate, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is the person that will speak to your heart and you know, you won't have to explain your soul to them, that kind of person. Bark break. Hold on. I think we're okay now. Uh, the dog was asleep for an hour until I picked up the tarot card. So sorry about that, you guys. So the next card I have for you guys here is the Princess of Wands. So the princess is equivalent to a page in a traditional tarot deck. And the pages bring in messages for you. So there could be some news coming in for you guys quite quickly when you see this card. Um, so I'm just getting some really mixed up energies from these cards right now. Uh, so I'm just going to keep flipping them over because we have like a, a stop, start, start weird energy vibe going on here right now. And it's not quite making sense yet. So I've got the King of Cups here for you guys. And the King of Cups is, it represents a really sensitive person. Um, usually people underestimate this person. Can be really creative. Uh, I'm getting the word inspired though. I, he would have ideas that other people might not think about. I think that's you. And I seem to remember doing um, a reading for Leo not too long ago where you were going to use some of your own passions in an inspired way. Let me keep going because I'm, I'm getting some, some messages but they're still a little foggy. So we've got the chariot here for you. So I see something, it's it's going to be happening really quickly for you. And I'm getting the impression that this is related, not about love really, but about a passion project. So I'm getting the lover's card here for you guys, but I, I don't see it being related to a romantic partnership. This is something that I think you've been sitting on a project for a long time and you're sort of working at a job that's paying the bills. 
but you've had this idea going in the back of your mind for a while. And you're, you're going to be, I, I see a lot of you um, with the seven of wands here. You're just, you know what I mean? You've had it up to here with your current position that you um, tolerate because it's how you put a roof over your head. Cards are talking to me, guys. Definitely something new coming up in your life here with the sacred clown. Um, so the sacred clown would be similar to the fool in a traditional tarot deck. Um, you're really like itching to get something new started. Um, you've got your, like you've been thinking about it for a long time with the king of cups. Like your, your mind has been creating this event to come around for you and i do see this related to your professional life or a passion project or something you want to do on the side i see some of you doing this like working your full-time job and then doing this other thing on the side like it's your escape hatch and when it like one thing starts to take off you're going to drop the other uh, i'm seeing that for a lot of you um and this is something that really makes like your heart beat faster. Like you're like basically in love with that idea. Um, and it's the thing that gets you through your, your day job right now, your night job, your whatever job, you know, but it, your job job. <sighs> uh, so let's pull another card here for you guys. I've got the queen of wands here for you. And this is somebody that is like bustling with activity all day long. Like they just are like going all day long. They're taking care of people. They are working and volunteering, uh, managing a house, holding down a job. Uh, you know what I mean? taking the kids to the sporting events and I see this as being your energy right now where you are you're going constantly because you're trying to get something off the ground for yourselves um actually I'm what I'm seeing is some of you are trying to get a really strong fitness regime in place like some of you are doing the career thing but then others of you I think you're um I'm getting this phrase to say to you guys, you're tired of what you see in the mirror. And I'm seeing that because one of you out there is thinking that. Um, and you didn't necessarily make a New Year's resolution because those are like, you know, I don't even bother because they're forgotten the next day, but this is like a new way of living. What I'm seeing in these cards is you guys are looking into the future at a new way of living for yourself and you're the driving force of this chariot i see you really being ignited and again you're super passionate about something and for yeah i'm getting this fitness thing really strongly i think some of you are even preparing to um run a marathon you know there's those marathons that are hosted in cities across the world for um, people that choose to run them. I see you preparing for something like that. I see a real test of endurance coming up for you, whatever it is. Um, and it's a really good thing that you have the energy of the Queen of Wands here to, to sustain that. It's like you have all these different elements with these court cards. You've got the creativity with the king of cups you've got the staying power with the queen of wands you have um some work related 
news coming in for you something is coming in quickly for you the universe is providing some sort of gateway to you coming up soon like almost everything down here is major arcana court cards and that's not that's not an accident it's because you're your commitment level to whatever your project is, is way, way up. Like it's, it's connecting with your divine source. Like you're, you're pulling it in and it's because you, um, you just are so bored or so done with this life that you, I'm seeing a hamster wheel, that's kind of how you've been viewing your life. You're like, okay, it's time to get up. I'll take the subway or the bus or whatever, go to work, blah, go home, sleep. And that's, it's not, you're not seeing, here you guys, this is the perfect, look at the King of Cups. Like, it's like he's um got his hand over his eyes as if to see into the future and that's what you guys are doing you're looking into your future and trying to decide how you want that to look and you've got the chariot energy to both sweep out anything that is standing in your way and pull you forward as you go i think you have such a strong momentum right now so I really get the feeling that I just sort of rambled through that reading, but I was getting really bombarded with messages. Like first, I wasn't getting anything at all. It's like my spirit guides were asleep. I'm like, oh, she's doing readings? You know, we better get up. So, um, really interesting reading, I think. It shows a lot of spirit with the Leo. Um, it feels like some of you could have been like sleepwalking through the past year or two or longer sort of going with going with the flow because it was easy and then you just got bored of it. You just got bored with the long-term reality that you saw for yourself. So really interested to know what your passion project is, you guys. If you guys are training for a um, marathon, let me know. I mean, good on you. That's something I would never even, like I might drive a marathon, but I, sh I sure wouldn't run one. So I'm always just like in in shock and awe <laughs> when I see people running marathons. So good for you, but let me know if that's you out there watching the video, if that's what you're doing. Um, and good luck, you know, good luck in your future plans and congratulations on having the foresight to do something really uh, momentous for your future self. So I'll leave it there, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.